We're back with one of my favorite comedians Thank who you. just had the best set that any comedian has done on Lopez tonight, Louis C.K. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thanks you're, for being here on the Hundreds show. You're really. one of my favorites too. I mean, of all time. I think you're one of the greats of all time. <laughs> I'm serious, man. And we've been friends a long time, but we've yeah. never formally hung out. No, no. Yeah. Because you live in New York. That's right. And I live here. That's so right. I'm going to New York this weekend. Oh, good. But when you're out here, do you like being out here? No, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. It's just a different... I think the thing about New York, people think that there are, people are rude there. You know, and they, they, they're friendly in a different way. Like, a New Yorker will hold the door for you, but you got to get through the door. Like... <laughs> You have like two seconds before the nice gesture becomes hatred, like seething hatred. You're like, go ahead, go! All right, jeez. I'm in a hurry, I wasn't before. I wasn't even going in that building, but I guess I have to. Because you're making me. But people are used to being with each other. The thing about LA is that people are all in their cars and they don't think about the people in the other cars as human beings sometimes. And they, things get kind of, people honk all the time here. And I really believe this, George, that if you own a car and you ever honked your horn once, you're a piece of I really believe that. There's no legitimate reason to honk a horn. It's only selfish. It's supposed to be for safety, but what's that story that ends with, and then he honked his horn and everyone was saved? Like, what is that story? I think the idea in our heads is you'll be driving and a kid will run out in front of you, so you'll honk and then kill him. Because that's what would happen if you chose to spend your time beep while well, he's dead now. At least he died in fear instead of joyful play. I got to announce his death with a horn. <laughs> but no, the reason people honk is to critique <laughs> that has already happened. What do you mean? Like what? Like what? Well, like, not, it's not to avert, it's just to go beep, hey. <laughs> like, why do you get to sound a trumpet because you're unhappy? Why does everybody beep, you shouldn't? It, it's no different than being in a store and someone gets in front of you and you just go, Ugh! <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> it's stupid. The other reason people honk is because they're, they just don't want to wait. They don't, you're sitting in your car, yeah. you're sitting behind another car, the light turns green, and because he doesn't have your central nervous system. <laughs> you go, bah! <laughs> and I don't mean to accuse, because I honk at everybody. And there's no... I do, I honk do at people you? on the sidewalk for being ugly. I'm the worst. <laughs> Be, stay home, it's gross. <laughs> so I'm worse than anybody else. Be, but 